Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a reindeer slash Rudolph statue. By the way, just in case you have any more building related needs, feel free to not only check out the description below, which I'll be leaving links to all of my tutorial playlist, but I highly recommend checking out the cost system, where I'll be leaving a lot more things like this. I'll leave a lot more Christmas related builds, and a few other mob statues, and some other playlists and stuff that I think that you guys will really, really enjoy. Moving on, if you want to make Rudolph, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some black stained clay, and some brown stained clay. Grab cyan, then flip over and grab yourself some white wool, some red wool, and finally guys, grab yourself some black wool. And once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off Rudolph with a row of uh, four cyan stained clay in a row on the floor. That's four, so one, two, three, four. What you then want to do guys, like imagine you're looking down on your row of four like I am, you then want to take this fourth block and you want to go up from it by three, so that'll be one, two, three. Then go left three, then down two, so you now have a four by four square of cyan. What you then want to do is add an additional layer of cyan on top of that original row to give you two layers. What you can then do is fill in the top of the shape that you've made in it with brown stained clay and on top of each one of these brown stained clays go up by 12 with your brown stained clay so it'll look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and we know that that row is 12 so we can then just extend each one of the other blocks coming up until they are equal height with the first. So we want to have something which should look like this. And this is Rudolph's front left leg. Just to give you guys some perspective, his other leg is going to be, oh, I don't know, like roughly here on the ground. The head is going to poke out this direction. So the front of the statue is going to be here. That's his front left leg. That'll be his front right leg. And just to give you guys a bit of an idea, like his back will be like 30 blocks in that direction. Just in case you're wondering, like, how am I going to place this? Where am I going to build it? Just to let you guys know. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. Coming all the way up to the top of the leg, you're in front of the leg, and you just want to extend the these front two blocks out in front each by one like that. You then want to take this block that you extended out, this right hand block, you want to go right of it by eight, so that'll look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then want to take those seventh and eighth blocks and extend them, coming back each by two, so that'll be one and two. So you just want to emulate what you have on that opposite side. You then want to take these four brown stained clay box blocks and you want to extend them coming down until they hit the ground. Do that to every single one of them. So that's what we're just doing guys. We're just extending each one of the blocks down to the ground until, well, until they hit the ground. So we want to have something which should look like this. We then want to build the cyan stained clay around the first two rows of brown stained clay. So we just want to go all the way around. We want to do that 4x4 four four square of cyan stained clay. And we just want to go all the way around the bottom. And these will be the front two legs of Rudolph. Pretty easy, right? Not so difficult. So, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do. This is what you want to do next. So... You want to take the top two front corners of Rudolph, so this block right here and the equivalent one on the opposite side, you want to raise them up each by seven, so that'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the other one as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then connect them with a row of white wool, so going from left to right, connect them with a row of white wool like that. And what you can then do, guys, is this. So, Rudolph has a nice little bit of white on him. And to make it look a little bit better, we want to do this. So, underneath this top row of white that we've just formed, you want to do two rows of the same row, except it wants to be one shorter on each end. So, where that row was probably a row of eight, you now want to do, like, two rows of six underneath that row of eight. Then, underneath your two rows of six, you want to do three rows of four. So, in the middle, take the four middle blocks, extend them down, and extend each one of them down by three. So, that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You just want to take each one of those blocks, two, three rows. Then, to finish this off, you just want to extend the bottom two blocks down each by one. And that is like Rudolph's chest, if reindeers have chests. I don't know, whatever. I don't know the anatomy of deers. So, what you then want to do is just completely fill the rest 
rest of the area in with brown stained clay. We was going to do this later, or we were going to do this later, I suppose, if we want to get the correct grammar in there, but we may as well do it now, why not? So, you want to, so far, have something which should look a little bit like this, and this looks a little bit creepy, so we're going to form the rest of the body. So, what we now want to do is, coming all the way behind the statue, take each one of the top two corners, that we raised up and we want to extend them going towards the back of the statue each by 18 that is 1 8 18 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay let's start that again because we miscounted so it'll be 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 very confident that that's 18 so i'm going to take this other block i'm not going to count it out i'm just going to match it to that first original row so that will be right here i'm going to connect it together and what we also want to do guys is we want to take each one of those uh, 18 blocks and extend them coming down each by seven so that'll look like one two three four five six seven and the other one one two three four five six seven so we're then going to take those seven blocks connect them together and we also want to connect them all the way to the front of the statue and they should connect all the way to the tops of the legs that's where they should connect guys so they should just connect all the way to the tops of the legs and you should have something which should look like this perfect what we now want to do is this so Let's take care of the other two legs. The other two legs are really, really simple. They're identical to the front legs, and they're on the same place on the back as they are the front. So you're on the left hand side, of the, you're on the left hand side of the statue, and you're on the bottom left hand corner of the back. You want to take these two blocks. You can see these, so like, starting from this one, it's the second and third blocks. Extend each one of these blocks down to the ground. So you want to take each one of these brown stained clays, extend them to the ground like that. Then take the insides of those two rows and extend them down to the ground. So take the insides of the rows, extend them down to the ground. You then want to take out your cyan stained clay and you want to go around the base two rows with your cyan stained clay uh, with... Uh, you just want to go around the first base two rows of your brown stained clay. That's it, with your cyan stained clay. Exactly how we did it on the front. So you just want to have something which should look like that. That's the back left leg. And let's do the back right leg. Of course, uh, it's technically like the back right leg, but it's from our perspective, not the deer. So we're taking the second and third blocks coming from the back right hand corner, coming forward. So we're going to extend each one of these down until they hit the ground like that. We're then going to take the insides of those rows, extend them down. We're then going to take out our cyan stained clay and go all the way around the base of the legs with the cyan stained clay. And we're going to do that by two. So with the two rows, we're just going to go all the way around to give us something which should look a little bit like that. And in doing that, we have given our reindeer, Rudolph, we have given Rudolph four legs. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. So, the next order of business is going to tackle the is going to be to tackle the back. So, the way we want to do this is this. So, we're at the top of the statue, we're looking directly forward. Where we have this row of white wool right here, we first of all, we want to take the first blocks coming in from the left and right hand side and we want to extend them coming towards the back each by five so that's one two three four five and that'll be one two two three four five then connect those together we then want to take the four center blocks in our row of six that we've now just formed here and we want to extend that coming towards the back again by five so that's one two three four five and one two three four five and then we can just connect those together and then we want to take those two center blocks and we just want to run them coming all the way across the back so you want to end up with a shape that should look like this and essentially what we've done we've taken the first middle six extended them back by five then the middle four extended back by five and then we've taken those last two middle blocks and we have extended them coming all the way across the back and we're now just going to fill the shape in and as a matter of fact guys we're now going to fill the entirety of, Wo of Rudolph and I almost said Rudolph I almost developed a lisp so I'm now just going to completely fill in Rudolph's body and it's probably not going to take too long so I'm going to hang in there with you guys so once you've got the white of the 
about taken care of, once you've just filled in the little shape that you've made, just completely fill in Rudolph's body. What do we have to do after this? Well, obviously Rudolph's missing a head, but we have to uh, tamper with his legs slightly. Rudolph's legs are a little bit more, they're a little bit beefier than what we've given him. They're not just straight. We've got to add a couple of, we've got to add a, a couple of little bits to his legs. We've got to give him a tail, and then we've got to do his neck, head, rein reindeers, antlers, and then we've got to do his nose. I, I, don't, I don't know why I said we've got to do his reindeers. That's completely ridiculous, but you guys get the idea. So, legs, tail, neck, head, antlers, nose, then we'll be done. Not too difficult, actually. This, uh, this is probably the more... Actually, no, this is a lie. His head's actually the hardest part. There's a fair amount of detail that goes into Rudolph's neck and head, but you guys all see that. It's not gonna be so hard, though. Like, it's just... It's just the most detailed part. It doesn't mean that it's difficult in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, let's just take care of his back now. Then we're going to fill the under part of him in. Then, like I said, then we'll be doing his legs and all of the other various bits that we have left to do. And then... Once we've done all of those, we can have a nice little bit of a gander at Rudolph. So we're now just filling the under part in. Obviously, we want to make sure that there's no holes in the statue. Otherwise, you could... You know what? I, I see a lot of people turn statues like this into houses. I guess you could just leave the under part of it completely exposed. And you could just, like, turn the center of Rudolph into a house. But I'm not entirely sure where the entrance would be. I guess you could, like, put some ladders on the sides of his legs. And you could kind of, like, climb up. I guess. That'd make sense. I saw a pretty cool uh, Ender Dragon looking headhouse on YouTube recently, so I, I guess you could do it to anything. But uh, we're just completely filling in the under part of Rudolph, and we've just got one row left to do. And then, like I said, we can move on to the other various bits and bobs. So we want to have something which should look a little bit like this. That's the body completely filled in. What we now want to do is tamper with the legs a little bit. So. You can see where we have the tops of the legs. Where they connect to the body, we want to take the first two rows, where they connect to the body, we want to extend the first two rows, coming out by one row, and we also want to extend the first row of the top of the leg, coming out by one row. So we kind of want to have a formation of six brown stained clay, so two rows on the body, one row on the leg, and it will look a little bit like this. So top row here, then up, up. So, two rows on the body, one row on the leg, and we just want to do that for every single one, and that just makes the legs look a little bit meatier, a little bit beefier, or a little bit more venison it. Venison it. That's a hard word. Ven I'm trying to do a venison joke, it's failing, but that is what you want to do for the legs, guys. Pretty simple. Once you've got those extended out, this is what you want to do next. So, we now have to do Rudolph's neck. Pretty. Oh, wait, shall we? Let's do his tail. Let's do his tail before his neck, because it's, ex it's the exact opposite end so come all the way to the back of your Rudolph you want to be on the top back row of the well I guess arse of your Rudolph and then you want to find the two middle blocks once you've found the two middle blocks you want to come down by one row and you want to do three rows of two brown say clay coming down so that's one two three just coming down at the back of the middle take out your white wool and do white wool going all the way around your three rows of two brown stained clay, and that is Rudolph's tail. Very, very simple, nice and 3D. Once you've got that taken care of, come all the way to the front middle section of the statue, and you want to do this. So, take out your white wool. On top of the four middle blocks, right at the top front of the statue, you want to do a row of four white wool, like that. Then extend that row of white coming out in front by one row. Then extend that row coming down by three, so that's one, two, three. And you should just end up with a shape that should look a little bit like this. What you also want to do is this first row that we kind of extended coming out in front, you also want to extend it back, coming back one row. And then you want to take out your brown stained clay and do the same. You want to do two rows coming back, so that's one and two. So you kind of want to end up with a nice like big L shape like this, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. What we can then do is, starting from on top of this first row of brown stained clay that we st started extending coming back go up on top of it by one row then come up forward by one row then go up one row then go forward one row take out your white wool and come forward by two rows that's one and two 
you then want to come down one row and what you'll have done is form the shape that should look like this. You can then just completely fill the center of that shape in with white wool. So you just want to have something which from the side looks a little bit like this. And it's nice and simple, isn't it, guys? And that's Rudolph's neck. What you can now do is this. So uh, what's the easiest way? So on top of this most front top outward row of white, stack a row of brown wool. Extend that row of brown left and right each by one. Then take that row of six brown wool, that, or brown clay, I should say, that, the row of brown clay, you guys know what I'm talking about, we only have one brown colour, extend it, coming in front of you by two rows, that'll be one and two. Then going up on top of the second most outward row of brown, we want to do two solid rows of brown coming up, so that'll be one and two. And then for the next two rows, going from left to right, do the sequence of blocks, do one white, one black, two brown, one black, one white. And you want to have that for two rows, and those are going to be Rudolph's eyes. So get his eyes taken care of, that's perfect. Then on top of his eyes, you want to stack a row of brown stained clay. So you just want to finish off Rudolph's face by adding a row of brown stained clay. What you can now do is this. So we now want to take these three bottom rows of the face, and we want to take the four middle blocks in the three bottom rows of the face and we want to extend them coming out in front of the statue each by two rows it will look like this it's one and this will be two so you want to take like the three bottom rows take the four middle blocks and extend them coming out each by two rows then extend another layer out by one with your white wall so add a final layer of white wall coming out then take out your red wall, and in front of, on top of, and diagonal of these top two middle white wall blocks, you want to do red wall, and that will form Rudolph's nose, like that. What you can now do is take out your brown stained clay, and you can take each one of the top two corners of the head, so we're now behind the head, and you want to take each one of the top two corners, and you want to extend them, coming back each by five, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, and... One, two, three, four, five. Connect them together and also go down by five. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, four, and that'll be five. And that'll be one, two, three, four, and five. And then connect them to the front of the head and also connect them together. So you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this and that is Rudolph's head we can then proceed to just fill the left right top and a back part of Rudolph's head in with brown stained clay what do we have to do after this guys well after this we've got to do Rudolph's ears completely forgot about his ears and we've also got to do his antlers both tasks are actually quite simple both tasks are actually really really easy it uh, it won't be any bother to us whatsoever so we're just filling in Rudolph's head um, almost finished you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this once you've got that taken care of you now want to come to the top back part of the head take out your white wool and on top of the back two corners of the head you want to do two rows of two white wool that's one two and one two take out your brown stain clay starting from the outer rows of the rows of two white you want to do three brown stain clay coming up so the first one will be in line with the top of the head and then it will come up to the sides of the rows of white wool you then want to place a brown clay on top and then brown clay either side of the white wool so you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this for the ears it's actually easier to see what you have to do rather than me try and explain it it's a little easier to actually just see it ear zia get it anyway once you've got that taken care of all we have to do is the antlers very simple take out your black stained clay one row in front of the ears or i should say leaving a one space gap in between the most inner part of the ears on top of the head so here and here we want to go up on top of the brown stained clays that we've just placed. So place the brown stained clays, guys, just to mark out the antlers. It'll be a little bit easier. And on top of those brown stained clays, we want to do... Uh, okay, so we'll start with the left one. I'm sorry. It sounded as though we were doing both at the same time. So starting with the left antler first, we want to, on top of this brown stained clay, go up by two. Then do an up left diagonal, as if we're looking towards the back of Rudolph. Then go up two. Then do an up left diagonal. Left one. Up left diagonal. 
left one, then do an up left and a bottom left diagonal to give us a shape which should look a little bit like this. That is Rudolph's left antler. Let's do the right. So on top of this right hand block, we want to go up to, up right diagonal, up to, up right diagonal, right one, up right diagonal, right one, up right, and a bottom right diagonal. And uh -oh, there we go. And that will give us Rudolph's antlers. They should look a little bit like that, nice and symmetrical. Also, if you wanted to, something that I thought about toying around with, uh, I did think about kind of like adding some, where's gold? I did think about kind of like adding some decoration to the antlers, um, just in case, just in case you guys are a little into Christmas like I am. I did consider giving Rudolph a little bit of bling for his antlers. Um, you may or may not be into the idea, I'm not entirely sure if it looks better. Ah, it doesn't look terrible, but uh, you might want to do that. You might also want to give him some reins and stuff. But the reason that I, I broke into that is because, guys, once you have got the endless taken care of, you've actually 100% fully completed the statue. It wasn't so hard, was it? Let's get rid of that red wall. We don't want to be looking at that, do we? Get rid of that. We'll get rid of these. We'll get rid of the UI. And then we'll take a look at Rudolph. Quite an easy statue. I wish the Minecraft horse was as easy to make. So, uh, once you've got the antlers taken care of, guys, there you go. There's Rudolph. Pretty nice, pretty simple looking statue. Looks looks like a reindeer, which Rudolph is. I, uh, I'm actually quite proud of this one. It's, it's really easy to make. Looks really, really nice and would go perfectly. I'm not sure if you guys can see me in the background right now. Would go perfectly with the Fat Santa statue. I think they actually scale quite well-ish. E. I don't think they do actually. I, th I think the Rudolph might actually be a little bit bigger than Santa. I really should have built them next to each other. That would have been smart. But hopefully you guys like Rudolph. Hopefully you've managed to make him. If you've done both of those things, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a favorite, a share, and anything else you would feel like doing, tell me out, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to comment down below if you wouldn't mind. Let me know what you want to see me make next. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of the Christmas builds. Rudolph was the last Christmas build because... This is going to be uploaded on Christmas Eve. If you happen to watch this and you happen to make it to the end of the video, I really hope that you guys have a nice Christmas. I hope that Santa... Huh? Santa? I hope that Santa brings you everything that you wanted. And yeah, like I said, this will be the end of the Christmas build, so feel free to recommend things. I wouldn't recommend Christmas builds, though, because that's going to be over. Uh, check out the card system. I'll be linking loads of Christmas-related stuff in there. I'm actually surrounded by it right now. I've got a couple of Christmas houses, Christmas Herobrine, Santa, Rudolph, and I believe that there's a couple more things as well. Um, check out the description below, which I'll be leaving links to all of my tutorial playlists. Like I said, guys, hope you really do have a nice Christmas if you do watch this on the Christmas Eve, but I doubt that you will. You're probably a little too excited wondering what santa's brought you hopefully you do like this live favorite show if you wouldn't mind thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video